What's up guys, this is Ashenox. We have so many things in this video. It's going to be really quick. New heroes coming out for the ReZero collaboration. Three five-star heroes. We got five new three-star heroes. Three exclusive equipment. Yo, this video is packed with information. Emilia, Ice, Soul Weaver. Let's look at her stats and then her skills. I'm going to be pulling for all these heroes, guys. So stay tuned for the showcases. So uh, health a bit low, defense really high, speed slow, uh, normal for Soul Weaver's attack percentage and effect resistance for herself, memory imprints. Skill number three, dispels two debuffs from all allies, recover their health and give barrier and it scales off of the caster's max health. Very cool, five turn cooldown, super solid because it removes two debuffs first. Dispel two debuffs from an ally, give attack buff for two turns, boost combat tuners by 50%, to the ally and 25% for herself and you soul burn it will recover the health of the target scaling off of her max health insane skill on a two turn cooldown s1 single target attack which will recover the health of the ally on your team with the lowest health and it scales off of the caster's maximum health pretty solid the artifact is really insane because that's 15% effect resistance static for herself while the wearer and then the ally with 50% HP or less after they're being attacked it will recover their health between 15 to 20% depending on your limit breaks. Activates once per turn and it will scales off of the ally's maximum health so probably better with a tankier team. Emilia is going to be a limited hero and she's going to be available on August the 5th. I'll showcase her. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm thinking account number 2 or 3. Now for Rem, Ice Warrior. Her kit looks quite interesting. Let's look at her stats and then her skills. So her stats, very high health and uh, defense quite high as well. So good ability, the attack very high man, 1200. Imprint health for the team or crit chance for herself. Skill number three, attack buff for herself. Three turn on a four turn cooldown, attacks all, decrease hit chance debuff for two turns. And then combat units increase for herself 50%. This is insane, man. Her passive, if someone goes down, dispel all debuff from herself, goes into demon mode for two turns, five turn cooldown, counter attack. If an ally gets attacked, 20% chance. She's gonna attack with iron strike. That's an AoE attack that uh, reduces buff duration by one turn of the enemy and puts them into unhealable state for one turn. Demon mode, immune to debuffs, ignore effect resistance when attacking. That is completely insane, guys and only works versus heroes and it cannot be dispelled. Complete insanity. Like she's gonna snowball so hard in the battle because of this passive. Skill one, 50% chance to decrease defense for two turns. And when she's in demon mode, oh boy, she will get an extra attack, attack again with the same skill. Soul burn for 10 souls, effect chance, 100% chance to defense break, wow. Look at this artifact, static 15% crit chance and then if someone dies, combat units increase between 18 to 24% depending on the limit breaks, activates once per turn. That is real solid. Rem is going to be available, limited summon on the 5th of August. Yo, I'm so hyped to showcase all these heroes, guys. Now for Ram, she's an earth mage, free. You log in into the game, you get Ram. We probably get triple S memory imprint as well. That'd be real hype. Her stats, look at that attack. That is insane, guys. So ability-wise, the defense is really high, but the health is quite lacking. Speed's a bit low. Effectiveness, 30%, not bad. And you got health for the team or effectiveness for herself on the memory imprints. Skill to the passive. Attack increased by 30%. That is why. And then effect of decreased combat tuness, debuff inflicted on the caster reduced by 100%. Wow. That's skill three. Oh boy. Decreased defense for two turns, single target attack, greater attack buff for herself for two turns. This thing is insane damage increase right there. On top of all that, you got decreased attack debuff for one turn on the skill number one, 75% chance. But if she's buffed, it's 100% chance. Soul burn for 10 souls attacks all enemy. Bro, that's crazy. Gonna trigger a dual attack though. And her mage artifact, 15% attack increase, that is static. But if you're attacked by an elite or boss monster, you will take up to 20% less damage. So 15 to 20% depending on the limit breaks. Man, like that is so much attack with her own artifact as well. This is like perfect for PvE content altogether. So you can get Ram and her artifact from logging into the game and from the side story on August the 5th. Episode 3, Chapter 9, North Wintenberg. This helm is quite solid if you don't need the speed destruction. Nice stats. Yeah, good luck, guys. Five new three-star heroes. Some of these heroes are completely busted. Like, I can't believe 
they are only a three star hero sometimes like wow that is some heavy power creep right there they're three star heroes so the stats are going to be lacking not too great here so ability offense wise like speed but at least there's self-effectiveness up to 18 percent skill one 40 percent chance to stun if you soul burn it's a hundred percent chance and it will have a hundred percent crit chance quite interesting for a skill one when she's attacked 25 percent of the time she will only take 50 percent damage instead and at the end of the turn she will get up to 15 percent combat uness okay this skill three is completely busted if they don't change it okay you got an AoE attack on a four turn cooldown, decrease speed, uh, debuff, and then stigma debuff. Brand new thing here. Stigma decrease amount recovered and combat shooness increased by 50%. What? Like, what? Okay, this hero's busted, man. Camilla, Light Warrior. She's got speed imprint. She's got crit imprint for herself. The stats, they're okay. 110 speed, though. Defense higher than health. And she's got 18% effectiveness uh, for free. Okay, let's look at her skills. Like, that is some next level stuff right there for a three-star hero. At least she's light. She's not going to be that easy to get. Skill one, 50% chance to decrease defense for two turn. If you soul burn, it's 100% chance. And then she will call the ally with the highest attack into a dual attack. You got decrease defense and then a dual attack coming in like Adventure Wrath. That's a skill one, guys. To do the dual attack, she needs to have attack buff. So the skill number two gives her skill nullifier. She gets attack buff and the ally with the highest attack as well. So that's perfect. She gets 50% combativeness as well. So it's going to be a quick combo. The interesting thing about skill number three is that if you don't use it, you have 30% damage reduction permanently unless it's on cooldown. And this thing is an attack that if you down the target, you go back to maximum health. And the lowest the health of the target is at, the more damage you do. Only three turn cooldown. Next new three star hero, Earth Knight. Christy has some really high defense. Health uh, pretty high as well. Low speed though. She's got effect resistance from awakening as well as the self imprint. Very nice. Skill 1, 75% chance to provoke the target damage based on the caster's maximum health. Okay, kind of normal on that one. That's a new type of passive right there. 15% chance to counter attack when she's attacked. But then the ally in the back row gets 50% of her effect resistance. It cannot change throughout the battle if like the team gets an effect resistance buff or something like that. But that is some insane stuff what you're going to be able to pull off with a hero like this. And her S3 is actually really powerful attack buff for all allies defense buff for herself recovers health based on her maximum health skill cooldown decreased by two turn with uh, 10 soul for the soul burn and now dark thief penelope she's got a pretty good offense i mean over a thousand attack 23 percent crit chance and self imprint is up to 11.2 percent crit chance so that is uh, quite good it's going to be easier to uh, gear her out but so ability wise of course defense is really low that's normal for thieves the health at uh, over 5,500. Okay. This is one of the most insane skill ones I've ever seen. 15% attack increase stacks up to three times. And then if she downs someone with skill one, she gets 75% combat uniqueness increase. So she can almost go again, which is insane. The great thing is that you got the soul burn that increases the damage. So easier to land that killing blow. Skill two is sick, man. Uh, debuff duration reduced by one turn on all allies gets barrier for herself for three turns gets an extra turn and the barrier is based on her attack skill three has a new mechanic resource reduction on the target 100 percent chance to reduce their fighting spirit and focus that is crazy ignores effect resistance and of course that's 15 percent nh resist 100 percent chance to decrease attack for two turns stun for one turn and goes into stealth for two turns yo that thing's crazy you can really lock someone out of their fighting spirit or focus with uh, this skill number three three turn cooldown on that disarm skill so much stuff is happening in that thing ice knight helen she's got really high survivability very low speed though and her imprints are all flat so that's unfortunate skill one boost the combat of a random ally by up to 15 percent if you soul burn it's the combat of every ally on the team she gets counter attack buff with the skill number three so that's pretty solid right there skill two single target attack defense buff for herself for two turn recovers her own health so that's pretty cool so she can stay alive longer three turn cooldown as well skill three super long cooldown of seven turns but it goes down counter attack buff for three turns for herself increase speed and barrier to all allies and if you get targeted by an aoe attack your team two turn cooldown reduction on this thing 
Buff removal will definitely be the bane of her existence because that's super long cooldown unless you get hit with a bunch of AoE attacks though. Could you imagine Shu on a counter set? Look at this. Skill 1, if you land a crit with chop, 40% chance to activate skill 2. That is insane right there. The skill 2 1 increases damage dealt by it and the skill 3 grants immunity to all allies for 2 turns. So the third one and the first one are going to be huge. Or the second one if you want to guarantee that damage increase to take out someone. Okay, Assassin Cartuja, 20% evasion chance for the whole team. That's crazy for the first one. The second one, 10% combat chance increase if he evades. And the third one, it's going to drop the cooldown to 3 turn for the skill number 3. Pretty powerful stuff right there, man. Kitty Clarissa, the skill number 1 will now heal the ally with the highest attack that you're calling into a dual attack. And it's based on her maximum health. The second one, 80% chance to restrict the target for 2 turns. AoE attack on that skill number 2. Crazy. And then the third one is decreased combat chance of the target by 20%. So that is some very interesting stuff on this hero. We got a new season of World Arena with the Judge Kise skin starting on the 14th of August. So I'll be pushing to get that skin and here are the frames looking quite nice. Very cool. We got drop rate up for Luluka with uh, Spirit's Breath. It's not a limited hero, save your, you know, bookmarks. But she's still quite good though. We got a little bit here with uh, Creation and Destruction. Not a good hero, not limited. I would definitely skip this one. Dark Teeth, ML Charles. Closer Charles, I'll definitely be showcasing him. Wow, his kit looks quite powerful. His stats are really solid. Very high amount of attack and health. Even the speed is quite high. Defense, of course, is lacking for a Teeth. 23% crit chance and he has for the team back and bottom effectiveness and for himself crit chance. Yeah, solid stats. His passive skill 2, if an ally attacks someone, drops their health below 30%, he will get up to 50% combat shortness increase and get perception buff, which is 15% crit chance and crit damage activates once every two turns. This is really powerful right there. Skill 3, man. That is really powerful. Attacks everyone. Attack buff for all allies for two turns and it will boost combat chance by 20% as well and evasion buff for three turns. That is 50% chance to evade the attack soul burn increasing the damage even further for 10 souls. Skill 1. If you have perception buff, you will use demolition instead. This is a single target attack. And the lower the health of the target is at, the more damage you will deal. And if you down the target, if the target dies, you will reduce cooldown of the skill 3 by one turn. So that skill 3 is really packed and it's going to be really interesting uh, what we're going to be able to do with uh, Closer Charles. ML Charles is going to be available on the 19th of August. I'm definitely super excited about all the stuff that I've talked about and I'll be showcasing all of them so stay tuned for all that let us know what you guys think about all this stuff this is the mystic summon rotation closer charles with tampus surin very powerful combo right there and we're getting 10 leaves and a million gold you just gotta log into the game and here's the side story the order of the sword and the lord of summer there's gonna be summer iceria released later on as well let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section if you're looking for name leader or a new phone check the description of the video that's it for this one i'm astronaut good luck with all you do peace out for now